The CIA condemning WikiLeaks release of personal emails from director John Brennan, calling the move a malicious crime. Joining us right now is Cavern System CEO J.D. Sherry. J.D., good to see you. Thanks so much morning, for joining man. us. So yesterday, WikiLeaks comes out. They say we have all of this information on John Brennan, head of the CIA. Your observations on that first. Well, I mean, I, I think if we look at the overall theme around email and, and use for, for some of our top government brass, it's a little bit disconcerting around the, the amount of information that's being shared in personal email accounts, whether it's uh, Mr. Brennan, uh, Mr. Johnson, and the Department of Homeland Security or certainly Hillary and the State Department. So all of this really comes back to what is within the policy of how they use these personal accounts, if there's information exchanged there, to what extent is it classified, unclassified. And then the fact of the matter is the precaution of using these accounts and how to secure them should follow the same kind of protocols that they're trying to use within their own work environment. But well. what are we doing wrong? I mean, as a country that you've got the head of the CIA, the head of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson. I mean, uh, how important was that? incident. Well, that, both of those investigations are on, underway right now between the FBI and the Secret Service. They're both running down the, uh, the forensics of those two. But uh, I, I'm more concerned uh, from what I know of the facts at this point in time around the Homeland Security uh, breach uh, for a variety of reasons. One, it appears that uh, in July there was a, a circumvention around the policy that Homeland Security had about using personal email accounts um, for, for work use in the work environment on the work computer. And then if you look at that from a cybersecurity perspective for your viewers and listeners, there are certain things that the federal government would implement in order to detect ad advanced uh, email phishing attacks, uh, campaigns from a malware perspective that don't have the same kind of capabilities within a public email system. Uh, an AOL, for example, which was Brennan's email account, won't have the detection capability that somebody's trying to attack you. So that could allow them to gain a foothold on the work computer, which we know could open a door to a plethora of other pieces of information that might be classified or unclassified. J.D., we've got, uh, we've got a lot of bad Internet hygiene practiced by a lot of people, including in companies. We have Congress unable to act on uh, legislation, uh, on giving companies uh, liability protection against sharing information with the government for, for cybersecurity. This is not going very well for the United States. No, it's and we, not. We seem to be immensely vulnerable at this point. What, what is, what, down the road, five or ten years, what does this look like? Are we... Do do we restructure how we interact with the internet with each other? Do we do we sort of uh, uh, carve a uh, you know put up a wall around ourselves again? Each of the companies and agencies, or is there some other mechanism we we use to uh, deploy to yeah, address? John, this? great question. I mean, I think if we look at this as as citizens, we have to demand of our public officials them to act right. So there really hasn't been significant legislation passed on this. Uh, to this point, okay. Oh, the horse has left the station. I mean, yeah, yeah, I is there anything say. we can do? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. So investment is starting to uptick. And Maria, we've talked about this multiple times on the show. That's a good sign that there's uh, innovation going on. The sharing between public and private sector has to be figured out, has to come to uh, some kind of a common ground. And, and, and that is a global issue. I said in 2013 that uh, the 2016 campaign really should focus on cybersecurity, and I, I think we're going to have to ask that of the candidates. But what do steps, they plan to do? Big right? steps in technology. Big steps. Is there something out there that is going to create a Internet 2.0 that begins to address this I issue? mean, what can they do? The fundamental problem with cybersecurity or even physical security is the convergence of convenience uh, for end users or companies and the blending of what they can lock down in order to protect a system. That is the holy grail for anything. So in Brennan's case, for example, if he would have used a concept called multi-factor authentication, which means his email account would be more than just username and password, he would get a special code or a token that would really validate that that was him. But why would wouldn't he be using that? He's the head of the CIA. That's, that's a very good question. I'm sure that's going to come Are companies out like friends. Verizon starting to implement multi-factor <laughs> systems that you talked about? Because this was an AOL account that Verizon owned. So are these companies starting to roll out systems Great for users? Great question. They have been a laggard on this. I mean, if you look at Gmail, you look at Yahoo, a lot of these other major companies that are obviously servicing these government officials in their public accounts, they've added that. Whether those people choose to implement it as a form of convenience is certainly up to them, but I would think the CIA director would know, have advisors to let him know what he needs to be doing or she needs to be doing in, that, in any other case that, to protect the account. Same with the head of Homeland Security. I mean, yeah. seriously. J.D., good to have you on the show. Thank you so much. J.D. Sherry.